Hello internet and welcome back to my channel. It's been a little while since I uh, did any detecting. Been busy with all sorts of family matters. They're all good now so I'm finally out in the field again and very pleased to be out in one of my favorite spots. Now I can show you this is a spot just uh, south of Danoli. There's some very shallow little um, surfacing. That's what I look for, shallow surfacing. You can see it goes all the way up there and uh, covers this little area over here. Now we found some nice gold here in the past so I decided to come and give it another try and I think I'm pretty sure actually that I've got another target here. So uh, let me uh, show you. We'll put you down and uh, I'll show you what it sounds like and we'll dig it up together. Okay, this is what it sounded like from the top. Now I'm in, I'm in normal and uh, I've got my uh, sensitivity on six, five, six. And uh, this is what it sounds like from the top. Very much like a ground noise. But when you get into the hole, In the, in the middle so we'll just try and dig it up there a bit of red ground coming up here now clay type stuff Watch it. Okay, it's out. It's out. Just turn you a bit. Where did you find it? I must have just 
Mr. Robbie here. Just here, I think. No. That sounds good. See it? Nice little piece of gold. Because you've got to love that sound. You've got to love that sound. A lovely little piece. We'll put that on the scale now and we'll see what it weighs. Okay, here we go. The big weigh in. Wow, a gram, just over a gram, 1.05 of a gram, 1.03. The wind's blowing a little bit, but that looks very good. I'm very happy with that and uh, a big surprise. I didn't think it weighed that much. If you've enjoyed watching my videos, please, if you haven't already, um, press the like button, as this will help my channel to grow, and subscribe if you haven't already as well. Thank you so much for watching. A couple of weeks ago, we went out into the high country to a little ghost town called Valhalla, where there's a fantastic gold mine called the Long Tunnel Extended Gold Mine, and there's tours of this mine that happen a couple of times in the day. We went out and we stayed overnight and the next day we uh, were booked in to go on the tour. Now if you haven't already done this tour, I'd highly recommend it. It's really worthwhile. It's about an hour long, but it's very, very interesting. And if you like gold, you'll find this tour very worthwhile. I highly recommend it. Of course, no trip is worthwhile without some adventure. And this was ours. We'd booked the mine tour for 1.30 that day. And having a few hours to kill, I decided I'd take a drive up to the Thompson's Dam. Rather than take the tar road, I decided to take the scenic route up the Valhalla track towards Aberfeldy. This turned out to be a bigger adventure than I had ever anticipated. About 20 kilometres up the road, near Barnes Lookout, my tyre was staked with a beautiful piece of red gum, and we battled to get the spare off because the lock that I had on the spare was full of dust and we couldn't get the key to work. After struggling with the key for some time, finally got it to work and we were able to take the spare wheel off the back of the car and change the tyre. We now could complete our journey. We were back on the road and crossing the Aberfeldy River. Now here's some film from our tour of the mine. I hope you enjoy it as much as we did. Okay, gold was discovered here in Walhalla in 1862 by Ned Stringer and his, comp his, and his companions. They found alluvial gold in a creek. Alluvial gold is just tiny fragments of gold dust that's been found in that creek area, or around that creek area. That rich alluvial gold was quickly taken up by the mines. In a short time, that was all gone. This is your first time in a mine, see? <laughs> All that's holding us up is these pieces of wood. Okay. And there's a black horseshoe up there. Full of gold. Gold and horseshoe. Alright, 
So we're now 115 metres in from the entrance. This tank is maybe two minutes to walk that distance, but it took the Hercules Mining Company two years to dig their way from that entrance portal to about here. Wow. Two years, hard work and blisters. This is what they're digging with. This is known as the hammer and tap method. So this um, tap here is just a hardened steel bar with a little four-sided cross on the end there. So these men are working here 24 hours a day, six days a week, only resting on the Sunday. There's uh, two men per shift, three eight-hour shifts. One man holds that steel bar, the other one belts it, turn it, strike, turn, strike, turn, hammer, strike, and tap, turn, all day long. Good job, eh? Yeah, thank you, mate. Yeah. 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 Right. Not like. There are worse jobs than this, mate. <laughs> All right. That's known as miners lung and miners complaint. I was killing these miners. Today we call that psychosis. So, a young man starting on a jackhammer like that at the age of 18 would be dead by the time he was 28 years old. Mm. Okay, so this is our small machinery chamber. This chamber here was dug out here to put boilers on the inside of mine. That very first boiler was right in this area here where I'm standing. It looked like this photograph here. Mm. These ones are actually made in Sydney. They're about six metres long and nearly two metres diameter. That's why would have drilled those holes. This is a modern day drilling bit, 1980s model. So this is industrial diamond teeth on the end. It should be a lot sharp on that, as you can see. But set up in a machine, a length of pipe screwed in here, and this just spins and grinds its way into the rock. Once it's in one length of pipe, they'll add another, and another, and another. Keep going in, keep going in. These things will easily go 500 metres into the rock. Wow. They take out a long, thin sample of rock. That's just a very, very tiny piece of that. So we're looking for samples, and as you can see, we've got a few samples here. Some of them got a big chunk of quartz in it, but uh, this little sample here is probably a little bit more interesting than the others. You can see veins of quartz is what we're looking for. Quartz will contain, uh, will contain silica, it may contain gold, and it may not. But the silica actually allows the light to pass through, oh, wow. pass through the quartz but they're actually going through the rock. Mm -hmm. Now, can you see any sparkly little bits of gold on there? Yeah. Yeah. Tiny, yeah. tiny yeah. little specks. Yeah, quite a few. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, get that yeah. on camera? Yeah, I think so. You're going to erase it soon. <laughs> <laughs> right, tiny little specks. Yeah. Visible gold, yeah. This is our main machinery chamber. Now, this chamber was originally 43 metres long in this direction behind me. Now that all collapsed in the 1920s. Oh, uh, wow. It was being thought timbered up and short off to make it all safe here for us. Yeah. This was fully open. You mentioned what it would be like it was 43 metres long and full of machinery, boilers and stuff. <laughs> but we're standing in the boiler section now. So this is number two, number three, number four and five boilers. We're all in this area here. Wow. Smoke from these boilers have got to go somewhere. There's your main chimney over there. It goes 150 metres all the way to the surface. It's only a metre diameter. <laughs> It was dug by a small jackhammer going up. It took three years to dig that shit. <laughs> right. I'll show you one, some more idea what this mine looks like underground. So you can all see this. This is where we've entered the mine here. We've walked 250 odd metres to here. That black line down there is that uh, main shaft. That main shaft is the far end of this chamber here. It's in the collapsed area, so I can't show you that. But as they go down here, this is where they found the quartz stones, about 183 metres down. The quartz stone is indicated by the grey shaded area all through the map. So when they find that, they tunnel in and they put a final level there and they take all that quartz stone out of that level. Then they go down another level, another 30 metres down start a new level, and they take out the quartz stone. Every 30 metres down they take out quartz stone. This mine has got 32 levels. As you can see, the main shaft it gets deeper and deeper and deeper, way down here to 937 metres down. Eight and a half kilometres of tunnelling here. So we're standing about right there. Can you imagine what's under your feet right now? It's just a massive network of tunnelling. 
and the water level is right up to the very top. Okay, these are known as little uh, crib rooms after their board game and card game that's uh, actually still played today. So, uh, yeah. when these miners went to work way back in the 1870s, they were paid to do an eight hour shift. An eight hour shift meant you worked eight hours continuously, there was no rest stops, no meal breaks, no toilets, no toilet stops. You were oh. paid to do eight hours work non stop, and that's what you did. You organised your bodily functions outside your working hours. Uh, if you didn't like, didn't like those conditions, just step outside the mine and be 15 men out there willing to take your job straight away.